What's going on, guys? I'm Buddy Apple, Clean Broke, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Randomizer Nuzlocke. What the hell did I do last episode? I straight up don't remember. Like, this is even, like, one of those things, like, I recorded, like, so long ago I don't remember. I just can't remember. Man, my memory sucks. Anyway, guys, we're about to take on the fourth gym, I think this is. I'm not sure. But real quick, team recap. We got himself level 30. Male Oshawa never evolved in this man because he's too cute. I don't care. Fury Cutter, Aqua Jet, Razor Shell, and Revenge. Next, so we got Nikki level 29. Female Zatu uh, with Air Slash, Ominous Wind, Confuse Rate, and Dragon Ascent. Has the forecast mode. I don't think I ever showed that. Oh, yeah, by the way, this thing has healer. So. And uh, then we have uh, Greco level 29. Male... Grow Vial, Home Claws, Fury Cutter, Quick Attack, Leaf Blade, Liquid Ooze Ability. Then we have Fenton Jr., 37, female. Starter Pokemon, high, it's so high level for, for some reason, I don't know why. With Shadow Punch, Nightshade, Will-O-Wisp, Shadow Sneak, and Anger Point, holding the Dread Plate. We have Iroh, level 30, female, Dragonite with the Flame Ball Ability, play Rough Dragon Rage, Thunder Wave, and Toesta. Then we have Egg. Anyway. Alright, let's go ahead and fight Flannery. Let's do it. Fight me. What the? No one saw that. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. Anyway. So. Guys, like, of course, I'll probably, like, a lot, a lot of people probably know this, but Nintendo dropped a Direct, right? A while, like, a, probably, like, a week ago-ish. Maybe, like, a little less than a week ago. Yeah, like, half a week. What am I saying? It was, like, four days ago. I reacted to the, to the damn thing. What am I talking about? But, uh, Basically, uh, some things happened, but not a lot of things that interested me. Like, I straight, it was kind of boring in my opinion. I feel like two main, like the two things that like people were hope, like were hoping for, were probably like Pokemon community was obviously hoping for like a Gen four, like a Gen four Pokemon announcement, like the usual thing they hope for, right? But I feel like people were also expecting Breath of the Wild announcements, like Breath of the Wild two, but. Okay, this is the biggest, this is, like, I feel like the Zelda community came, like, they got the biggest L, because, like, the creator of the Zelda franchise, you know, said, I know you're all an patiently anticipating news for Breath of the Wild 2. We do not have any news. Who does that? I thought it was funny, because I don't really, I don't really care about Breath of the Wild, I've never really played it. I just thought it was funny as hell. Like, they had, like, their own little segment. Just to say, hey, yeah, we don't have any news. Like, that's just so funny, in my opinion. Oh, uh, Gumi, yo, I'm just saying. Oshawa's gonna sweep this gym right now. I'm saying it right now. He's gonna do it. Watch him. Watch him. Right, we're gonna Fury Cutter. We're gonna build up Fury Cutters. Oh, he used Rain Dance. Oh, he's just boosting our water type moves. You know, I might just, I might have to switch to freaking Razor Shell. Anyway, I, I, I just can't believe they actually did that. That was just so stupid. But it was funny at the same time. Then I guess, uh, something else that was interesting, like, at the beginning of the whole Direct, like, that's when they had their Smash, like, their Smash character announcement. It was, like, uh, some character from Xenoblade named Pyra. Never played Xenoblade. Couldn't tell you who she was beforehand. But the, like, at the beginning, I just thought they were just announcing a new game for this character. But no, she's like, <laughs> I'm in Smash. It's like, where did this come from? Like, I just thought it was really funny just the way that they had that whole thing play out but then like what was i saying all right so like close to like the end of the direct there's news for splatoon 3 like i haven't i've never like really played splatoon all that much like something i like i just don't get how you add more like i talked to chenny about this i don't get how you add more stuff to splatoon it's a very like, that, I could just because, like, I've never played it before, and I just don't understand how they would. But it, it's it's just weird. I mean, like, yeah, I could add new guns, or, like, it's like a new map, like, a couple new maps. For, because, like, it's just paintball, right? But then, like, Chaney pointed out the fact that there's, like, an actual, like, story campaign. Like, I was blown away by that. I had literally no clue that Splatoon had a story campaign. I thought it was like, hey, hey, paint! And just started going off. Like... I wouldn't. I didn't know any better. Like I never played the game. I'm just realizing this. This is Gumi outspeed or Oshawa. You know what? Half the time I forget that this game has randomized stats. Oopsie. But yeah. So I just 
it was very odd to me that they're making that they've made a third game for Splatoon, and I just don't understand how you add more stuff to it. Cause like I feel like if you add like new character designs or say like new guns or weapons in a Splatoon, that, that's like more DLC stuff in my opinion. But then uh, okay, there was one part of the director I like I I got jabated. So for some game I can't remember what the name of the game is, but there's a character who had the name of Nobunaga Oda. Like, I, what, was the, what was the game called? I can't remember. But, uh, basically, I saw that name. I saw the name Nobunaga, and my head went immediately to Pokemon Conquest. You know what? I should probably turn off the EXP share. I should probably do that eventually. But, uh, I, I saw the name Nobunaga. My head immediately went to Pokemon Conquest, right? Because, like, uh, the main antagonist of Pokemon Conquest is a character named Nobunaga. Like, that's the whole thing behind it. And, like, I, like, like, I also learned later that, uh, Nobunaga Oda is, like, the, like, it's the name of, like, so, like, a Japanese guy from a while back. I don't remember, like, he was important for some reason. I don't remember why he was, but he was. So, like, I saw the name, thought Pokemon Conquest. I got really excited, like, oh, this is not Pokemon Conquest. I just came back down. But, like, I thought, like, Pokemon Conquest 2 were, like, a remaster for it. Because Pokemon Conquest, that is one of my favorite Pokemon games of all time. Like, it, it's a side game, but it's so good. Then later on the it, later on in the Direct, uh, they, showed a, like, uh, they showed a game called Triangle Strategy, working title. Just saying, the, like, the title of the game was... Triangle Strategy, working title. The working title part part of that title pulls everything together. Makes the name of the, name of the game so much better. I freaking... Working title. Just just that little bit of... Yeah, you know. You know. Yeah. You, you, you in the back. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, you do. So, like, I saw like I saw that. And I just thought, holy crap. Like, this gameplay style would work great for uh, Pokemon Conquest. Because, like, it's... Like, because Pokemon Conquest came out on the Nintendo DS a while back. And it would just work, like, it's like, ooh, we get really good TMs, I'm realizing this now, we got freaking thunder now, let's go. But, uh, like, the way Pokemon Con Conquest works, it would work so well with, like, the, like, with, like, with the style of that game, like, the way, like, uh, gameplay is, like, laid out. It, it would just work so freaking well. Why'd I go back this way? There's a shortcut to get out of this gym. I just realized, I can get another encounter before I go take on Norman. Wait, guys, I'm just saying, I'm fairly... God damn it, I didn't mean to do that. Like, I'm just saying, should I just go ahead and rush Norman's gym? Just go, like, just go charge and head in, even though we, like, at this point, we might be underleveled. We might, we might be on, on par. I don't know, but I got an Oshawott, so I know that much. Actually, I can get two encounters, because, like, I can get the desert encounter. Then I can get the, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, what am I talking about? What is it? The fossil, that's what I'm talking about. I'll get the desert encounter and the fossil. So I can do both those. May do not take me back to Mawville. Don't do it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. That's what I thought. Thank you. And uh, speaking of like uh, directs and stuff. Um, apparently like the same day Nintendo had a direct. Cartoon Network had a direct of their own. And like they came out with like a bunch of stuff. But, like the thing that interest like that interested me the most. Was the fact that they're reviving Total Drama Island. Because, like, in, like, a... I'm pretty sure, like, the last time they did, like, a new season of Total Drama was, like, a few years ago. And it's, like, some... There was, like, a spinoff, or... Maybe, like, there's one right now, but, like, it's gone downhill, in my opinion, at least. But, like, apparently, like, they're revamping it. Like, like the old concept, like, uh, Challenger-style crazy competitions and junk. Which, like, I'm, like, I'm down for. I freaking love Total Drama. Like, I grew up with that stuff. Like, it's... <laughs> Like it's just peak. I love the like I love the art style. I love like the psychotic characters that most of them are. Like it's just it's it's fun. It's fun. I enjoy it. Well, I'm just saying like I saw so much stuff like on a uh, social on little um, little but I can't talk on social media of like a uh, joke saying oh a uh, cartoon ever's coming out direct oh my god we're gonna get like a uh, Johnny Bravo for Smash or something like I'm just saying if Johnny Bravo made the Smash I would main Johnny Bravo. Like I've never even watched Johnny Bravo. It's a little. A little, like, before my time, but, uh, just saying. Johnny Bravo for Smash. I'd vibe with it. That'd be really, that'd just, that'd be entertaining to watch. Like, uh, who, 
Like, who else would work for Smash? Like, from, like, Cartoon Network. Like, I can't really think of anything. But, uh, anyway. Like, I was also, like, this, like, crazy conspiracy, like, the... That, uh, the Nintendo Direct... Not the Nintendo Direct. The Cartoon Network Direct was gonna, like, reveal, uh... What is it? Yo, I'll take a Star Lake. Star Raptor's not bad. I'll... Okay, I will take that. Okay. We shouldn't... We shouldn't be able to kill you with Fury Cutter, right? Oh, yeah, we're fine. Okay, we... Alright, you have Endeavor. Gotta be careful of that. Oh, my God, dude. Okay, I'm not gonna stay in with Oshawott. Let's go out to... I wrote a peril. I said, yes. Okay. But, uh... I saw, like, this crazy conspiracy idea that... Not, I shouldn't say conspiracy, I should say theory, because it's not, like, an actual, like, crazy... Out. Oh, okay, guess we burn it instead of paralyzing it. Okay, that works, too. But, uh, basically... Like, uh... Like, uh... How do I word this? Everyone knows, like, codename Kids Next Door. Everyone knows that series. Like, that, that uh, old cartoon from Cartoon Network. And, like, apparently, like... There was meant to be, like, a... Like a sequel series to it called Galactic Kids Next Door. And there's like this whole like crazy, like this crazy like joke thing that was supposed to happen. Like get, like try and like make the fans think that there was going to be a Galactic Kids Next Door thing like back in like 2014 I think. And like it all, like, like uh, the creators have like this fake website. Everyone thought like it was counting down to like, like a uh, release date or something like to whenever it was going to drop or something. Which I thought was like, okay, that was actually that was actually really cool. But like, back then I didn't really care. Because like, wasn't too into it. But uh, I just thought it was really interesting how like they just pulled all that together. But like, of course, like there was no series announced, which a lot of people were upset about. Uh, where are the fossils? They're over here, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and take the root fossil. It doesn't really matter since we don't really know what each one is beforehand, so. Okay, now we can head... Oh, excuse me. All right, now we can now we get him back to Mauville. That so now we're making drag us back. To, like, I can't talk today, and I hate it. Also, guys, sorry about the fact that uh, there were like an episode was a little late. My bad. Uh, time constraints and all that. You guys get it. Uh, oh my god, like you walk so slow in that sand. Holy crap. Oh god, I don't want to fight this kid. But yeah, so. Like, there's, like, this whole idea that, uh, they're gonna announce Galactic Kids Next Door, Galactic Kids Next Door with, uh, the Direct for Country Network. It didn't happen, obviously, but, like, it was an interesting idea that, that, like, I saw on Twitter. I don't, where did I see it? I can't remember. But, uh, I just thought it was, like, really interesting how, like, these people came up with that. Like, just kind of out of the blue, there, there was really, like, no basis behind it, but, you know, they made it work. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna change the subject a little bit, because, uh, recently I've, okay... For a while, I freaking love the comedian Gabriel Iglesias. He's so, like, I don't know what it is. He's just, he's a funny dude. Just because, well, he's a comedian, so obviously he's funny, but. Like, I feel like what gives him, like, that little edge, in my opinion, is the fact that, like, the sound effects and the voices, like, he just does so well and easily. It's like, he holds the microphone up to, like, up to his mouth, and he can just, like, like, car noises, like, drive it off, like, like, I don't know how the, I don't know how the hell he does it, but he does. It's so it's so impressive. Like he can do accents super well. He can sound effects, accents, voices. It's so good. And uh, like I've been watching like just clips of his of his uh shows on YouTube, and holy crap! Like I found a few. Like god damn! Like if you just heard that stuff on, the, <laughs> like I really I should really shouldn't repeat it, cause like. In my opinion, it is, it's, it's just, <sighs> I'm right, I, I saw this one, like, he was in India, apparently, like, he had, a, like, there were some, uh, German people in the crowd, like, if you know what I'm talking about, just look up Gabriel Iglesias, India Germans, like, you'll understand what I'm talking about, just cause, like, I watched that, and holy crap, but, like, he, like, he has, like, his, on, like, uh, his better ongoing jokes, like, he has, like, the, like, the levels of fatness joke he always makes, like, there's like five or six. I'm pretty sure he added a six. Like uh, there's there's big, healthy, husky, fluffy, and damn, like he's fluffy. Like everyone calls him fluffy, which I think is hilarious. 
But yeah, the six levels of fatness, like, are a big, healthy, husky, fluffy, and damn! And I'm pretty, like, the sixth one, I'm pretty sure he, what the hell, what the hell was the sixth one? It's like, I'm pretty sure the sixth one was like, oh, hell no! Just because, like, it's, I can't do it nearly as good. Like, I'm the one, like, just repeating the joke, so it's not going to be nearly as good coming from me. Just go watch his clips, because he's so funny. It's like, one of his favorites, like, one of his, like, favorite stories he ever, like, he tells is, like, uh, how, uh, basically, he was pulling out of a Krispy Kreme with a box of donuts, and the cop was taking forever to get to his car, and, uh, he basically, like, he busts out the donuts, he, like, he was about to eat one, and, like, he just, like, like, the cop said, like, I don't know what the cop said, I haven't watched that video, like, I watched that clip in a while, like, he's like, eh? Yeah. Like he like he gave a like he gave the cop donuts and he got off scot free, and and like uh another one was uh where he like he and his friends like what the hell was it? It was uh like he was speeding and he got pulled over apparently going like 102 which is uh I don't don't do that. Basically he got pulled over and uh he and his like. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, like, for whatever, like, he put in, like, the theme song to Cops. And, like, the cop was just dying laughing. And it was, like, it, it was a, it was just such a funny story. Because, like, <laughs> like, guys, just go watch him. He's so funny. Like, speaking of funny stuff, uh, uh, usually, like, when me and my friends hang out, like, when I, like, whenever uh, I'm dropping everyone off back at their houses, me, Chenny, and our friend Jonathan, right, we will tip, like, we will typically just, uh, we will, uh, Frank, what was I gonna say? We will... We'll just sit in Jonathan's driveway for about, like, 45 minutes, just being stupid, cracking jokes, just going on and on. Like, we could be talking about, like, the dumbest thing ever, or we could be talking about, uh, just... Like, we could be, like, actually serious, but it typically, like, devolves into chaos. Which, frankly, I don't mind, because that's funny. And, uh, well, I should say, like, all three of us are pretty funny, but nah, I'm not funny. Like, they've described, like, my humor as basically, uh, basically what they say is, I, I'm like the kill cool down in Among Us. Like, I get, I get, like, every once in a while, I get one really funny joke. Then, like, I'm just on cool down, like, like, some of the jokes I make, like, they're meant to be, like, surface level humor, just dumb, it, like, dumb idiotic jokes. Like, but... Oh, they think I'm serious so often. And it's just like, I don't, like, it's it's a very infuriating thing. I don't know if I get, like, if they're messing with me at some point. But, like, I'm not being serious. So, like, it's just, whew. But, yeah, like, there's this one story Jonathan was telling about, uh, because, uh, what, the context was we were sitting there and a possum ran out in front of it, like, ran out in front of the car. We could see it. And Channing's, like, it, okay. It was a possum. The Channing, like, for, I don't know why Channing said this. I he said, like, wait, is that a beaver? What? So, like, it obviously wasn't a beaver. It was a, it was a possum. Then, uh, Jonathan comes out and says, no, that's a raccoon. It was like, 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 we, like, he obviously knew it was, a, like, a, a possum or something. Like, he just, like, I don't know why. He said raccoon. We all just started dying laughing. Then he goes and tells a story about how he wants to find a really ugly cat and tell everyone it's a raccoon. That's just the funniest thing in my opinion. Because, like, around here, people would believe it. Because in my opinion, people around this part of Kansas, a lot of them are very smart. They're very country. They're very... Redneck, I guess, would be the story. I mean, it's... People would believe him. And, like, he always, like, he always, like, devolves like, this really thick redneck accent just to, like, prove his point even further. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. This here, this here, this here's my raccoon. His name is Billy. And it's just, it's just an ugly cat. It's like, yeah, I had to put his mother down. That's her right there. You're standing on her. You're wiping her feet on her right now. Like, it, it always just, what the hell was that cry? It's like a banshee out of hell. God damn. Okay, anyway. But yeah, he kept going on about that, which I, like, funniest thing ever. 
And uh, there's another... I, I might have already shared this, but... Uh, uh, there's one time. Chad, like, he wasn't... He wasn't really feeling it one day, right? We were sitting at lunch. I just, like, gave him a Dr. Pepper I had in my lunch. Just a little, little thing of Dr. Pepper. was like, here, you want it? Because I, I didn't want it. It's like... I just was on Thursday. He's like... Like, he turns over to me and, like, very like said, Dude, I'm gonna kiss you. I'm like, what did he say? Yeah, he said, he said kiss you. He said, like, like, dude, I'm just gonna straight up kiss you. And there's a girl sitting in, like, five feet away from him. She looks over with a very confused look on her face. And this girl, this girl is very, like, she is very Christian. Like, she's not... How do I word? I'm not, okay, I'm not even going to go down that path. I thought of something, I'm not going to say it. But, um, basically, she looked at him, it's like, 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 without hesitation, Chana says, yeah, we're gay, keep scrolling. Just like says, anyway. And, like, I could not stop laughing for a solid 20 minutes. I, I was, I was having trouble breathing, I was laughing so hard. And, like, you had the girl over, like, she just kind of walked away. And, like, this girl, like, it's easy to push your buttons. I push your buttons so much, and it's it's the funniest thing. And uh, that's just that's how that's how it, that's just how their humor works. And uh, our scholars will teach like our our scholars will our scholars will. A little. Why can't I talk? Oh my god! Our scholars will coach. What the hell? Our scholars bowl coach. God damn! I'm gonna put a video of him on screen right now, so you just have like a. Like it's like a. It, it, Put a video of him on screen right now, of, of just him. But, like there's like a Snapchat filter over it, so like it's not actually him. So three, two, one, <laughs> and we're back. So that's that's our scholarship for coach. His name is Mr. Day, right? And we have this ongoing joke that Jonathan started. Well, he actually Jonathan started two ongoing jokes about him. One of them is that he's just a senile old man, which he's like 48. So eh. He's up there, but he's not, like, way up there. But, uh... <sighs> Ugh, excuse me, sorry. But, uh... Basically... Uh, there was one time, like, Jonathan was actually talking to Channing. And he was turned around. And, uh, Mr. Day, like, says, Hey, Pinky! Because Jonathan, Jonathan has, like, dyed pink hair. He said, Hey, Pinky! Pinky, pay attention! And Jonathan turns around and just yells, SHUT UP, OLD MAN! Anyway, but, God, like, like, uh, he's, like, he's one of those guys, like, you can just joke around with, and it's, like, Mr. Day, he's just one of those guys you can joke around with, and it's just funny. Like, he'll, like, he'll take, he'll dish it right back, but, like, he's a teacher, like, he's also a teacher, so he can't really go too much into it. But, like, like, he'll, he'll get there, but, like, not as much as, like, he wants to. But, oh, like... That had everyone on the floor. It was so funny. And then the second one he... Like, the second joke he made was, like... It actually still involves Mr. Deb. But, uh... He has a daughter who's in college. And at one more... Like, at one of, like, our last college bowl meets... Like, Jonathan sees his daughter for the first time. And he makes this... Like, he is kept going with this ongoing joke... That is yet to stop being funny. Just saying, like... So, Mr. Deb, you, your daughter's pretty hot. He just keeps going on and on about this all night, and he has yet to stop. It's it, it was the funniest thing ever. Now he's like devoting like so uh, is your daughter single? Like I'm gonna marry your daughter. I'm pretty sure at one point he called Mr. Like he called like he called Mr. Day father-in-law, which I thought was so funny. Like he's just like, the watch is like, hey, what's up, father-in-law? And like Mr. Day, he knows he's joking, but it's it's the it's just so funny, just cause like. Like he just does, he doesn't care. He goes along with it, and it's just it's incredible. I need more, I need more healing. I'm just realizing this. Okay, and anyway, I'm probably gonna fight this girl. Then we'll then we'll probably end the episode here. Okay, but yeah, it's just it was so funny. It it's just it's peak comedy from him, and it just works so well. All right, anyway, Caracosta, get out of my face, Leaf Blade. Oh, X Defense, you twerp. All right. All right, Greco, kill it, kill it, kill the turtle. Good job. Okay. All right, guys, right there, I'm gonna end the episode off right there. 
I'm just now realizing this. I've only had two deaths in this series. Both of them happened off camera while grinding. If you guys know me, if I'm grinding, something's gonna die. Happened so much in the case like it would change. Go check that out right here. Uh, but still, oh my god, everything died. It was, it was ridiculous. But yeah, I'm gonna call it an episode right here. I'll probably go get some potions. And, uh, like, sorry about, sorry about, uh, missing an episode Sunday. Anyway, guys, hope you guys all let, guys all enjoy this episode. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below. Also, real quick, I know it's only about, like, 20% of you guys are subscribed, which, uh, do me a favor. If you're not subscribed and you're watching a video, fix that. Anyway, guys, please like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace.